The care of the earth is the most patient and most worthy, and after all, our most pleasing responsibility. To cherish what remains of it and to foster its renewal is our only legitimate hope. Wendell Berry Hello, my name is Janae Bell, and I am an intern at the Center for Energy Education. And today, I am so excited to share with you my passion for climate change and conservation. Since the Industrial Age began in 1850, the global temperature has risen nearly 2 degrees, a number that is seemingly insignificant. We are already seeing a few of the consequences of global warming and our inability to act. It has resulted in year-long record high temperatures, extreme droughts, and heat waves. These put our food and water supplies at risk, as well as damage plant and animal ecosystems. When it does rain or snow, we face intense storms. It doesn't just rain, it pours. Hurricanes, monsoons, and blizzards are heavier and undoubtedly more costly. 2019 was the fourth consecutive above normal hurricane season with 18 named storms and three major hurricanes, Hurricane Dorian, Hurricane Umberto, and Hurricane Lorenzo. Within the past five years, we've experienced five of 20 of the most damaging storms in history, collectively costing 292 billion US dollars in damages. Communities take months to rebuild, placing school and work on hold. Natural resources are wiped away and it strains the entire system. An increase in carbon emissions not only affects the land and the individuals on it, but the ocean and marine ecosystems. When the global temperature increases, sea levels rise due to melting ice glaciers. Within 80 years, entire coastal cities and islands will be submerged under rising sea levels. Warm oceans also cause issues for the animals and plants that live underwater. Internally, they are just not made to handle these changes, and they die off rapidly and are eventually endangered and then extinct. This includes much of the fish that billions of people rely on as their primary food source today. Humanity could continue down this path or begin reversing and slowing down the damage that we've created within the past century alone. We can have a sustainable planet filled with life and biodiversity. This world can have a steady stream of natural resources for us to expand and grow without worrying of the ecological impact. With weaker, infrequent natural disasters, there would be an improved quality of life due to better access to food, water, and housing worldwide. The sustained biodiversity from a healthier ecosystem creates balance in combating environmental threats like pollution, invasive species, or just a lack of resources and nutrients. One way to achieve that future is to live sustainably. Sustainable living makes an impact even when practiced in the smallest ways. Sustainability is also known as the quality of not being harmful to the environment or depleting natural resources, and thereby supporting long-term ecological balance. It is a lifestyle practice that puts the focus on meeting new needs of our society while still not depleting the earth of its limited resources, especially so that future generations of all species can survive successfully. Sustainable living works because it actively opposes the stress and strain of using natural resources. Deforestation, the permanent removal of a standing forest, is a prime example of what can happen from a non-sustainable life. That one paper cup you used may not seem like such an issue, but multiple paper cups used worldwide daily by millions of people are supplied by cutting trees over and over again just to keep up with such a high demand. This is an issue. It applies to other household items too, like plastic or paper grocery bags, fast food wrapping, stationery, shoes, the list goes on. Deforestation increases the amount of greenhouse gas in the atmosphere and the amount of habitat loss. Sustainable living begins with that classic reduce, reuse, and recycle methods. Reducing how much waste we produce is one of the most effective ways to live sustainably. This is because when we reduce the consumption of a product, companies make less of it, minimizing the need for natural resources to manufacture it. Typical one-use plastic straws are a great example. Between the fossil fuels factories emit to make the straw and the abundance of packaging, there's a lot of pollution and a lot of greenhouse gas emission. If we used metal straws as a replacement for one-use plastic straws, corporations would have to process less natural resources. 
there are plenty of alternatives to plastic or one-use items, like metal water bottles, cloth napkins, or even bamboo toothbrushes. We can reduce other aspects of life too. We can reduce how often we drive to emit less gas. Public transit, carpool, and alternative non-gas transportation, when available, can all reduce carbon emissions on a daily basis. Traditional transportation methods account for 28% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Even changing our eating patterns can help. Meat consumption releases insane amounts of greenhouse gas. Beef is a resource-intensive animal product. Acres of farmland for grazing and butchering attribute to a lack of biodiversity and habitat. Cows create methane, one of the strongest greenhouse gases responsible for a fourth of all man-made climate change. Eating vegetarian or vegan or reducing meat consumption through days like Meatless Monday can significantly impact our greenhouse gas emission and keep Earth just a little cooler. However, when you can't reduce, you can certainly reuse. Reusing old items gives a new purpose or it allows one item to last for a much longer time. You can reuse boxes, cans, plastic bags, containers, fabric, really anything you can think of. One quick way to reuse is with a durable shopping bag made of canvas or durable plastic that you can get at any store for an affordable price if you don't already have one in your closet. Fabric from older clothes can be recycled into a newer piece, like a cleaning wrap. If that's not your speed, you can donate or sell your current clothes and then shop secondhand for new ones. When we reuse and repurpose, single-use items get a second chance to avoid clogging landfills. These landfills have waste which pollute the surrounding environment with methane and carbon dioxide when it decomposes. The one-third of waste that doesn't decompose becomes saturated and releases contaminated water called leachate. All of this we can diminish by reducing and reusing. The third step to living sustainably is to recycle, especially when you can't reduce or reuse. When you throw something in the recycling bin, pieces of that object, if not all of it, are used to build new supplies and materials. It starts with the consumer using a material and then putting it in the correct container. A collector will then take the recyclables, prepare, and then process them. These items get cleaned, sorted, and sent to their respective facilities. Once there, they are broken down to be built up again into new products, and the cycle continues. You should be careful about what you recycle. Most bottles, cans, and plastics will have a symbol to indicate if and how it should be recycled. Check your local guidelines to be specific about how you should separate items, and things that are to never be recycled unless otherwise stated include styrofoam, dirty paper towels and cups, hazardous waste like diapers, electronics, or chemicals, and finally, plastic bags. Yes, plastic should be recycled, but plastic grocery bags interrupt the recycling process and should be treated separately. You can return these back to your local grocery store. The most important thing to remember when recycling is to ensure the quality of your recyclables over the quantity. So separate items and double check your local guidelines if you're unsure. We, as global citizens, are at a pivotal moment in history. This delicate duty of restoring our world might feel daunting, but with our collective effort, we can achieve it. Progress has already begun, and I encourage you to educate yourself, hold your peers accountable, take action, and continue building a cleaner world for future generations to enjoy.